this is <laughs> today is May 16th, and we just received the very first Sims 4 SVX drop of the year. We're a whole five months into 2023, and we've finally received an SDX drop. A lot of people in the Sims community were thinking these were no longer a thing, so I'm kind of relieved to see that they're back, at least for now. Before we jump into the game, I do want to check out this latest post by the Sims community that basically gives us all the information that we need to know about this brand new Sims 4 SDX drop. If you would like to check out this article yourself, I'll make sure to add a link in the description. But in this drop, we get a brand new facial hair, which I'm personally excited for. We hardly have enough of these, and this one actually looks really promising. I'm super excited to check that out. The latest drop features new recipes from the Jewish culture. You can find and cook them today in the Sims 4 base game. And on the menu today for the whole family, delicious matzo ball soup and challah bread make their appearance in the Sims 4 cookbook. What also makes these recipes super duper special is the fact that a simmer called Huffle Palm has for I think the last 365 days on Twitter has been asking the Sims team specifically to incorporate recipes from the Jewish culture and it finally happened. That right there just proves how much our voices have an impact in the Sims community. And from what I can see in this image here, everything looks incredible. Like it looks very on ball with the actual recipes. I did look them up and I personally haven't actually tried any foods from the Jewish culture, but y'all, when I heard that matzo ball soup was basically like dumplings, oh my God, I love dumplings of any kind. I really, 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 really want to try some of these recipes in real life. And last but certainly not least, the Calientes get a household revamp. After the fresh update on the Goths household, the Calientes are next in line. The newest XDX drop for The Sims 4 has given a fresh look to Katrina, Nina, and Dina Caliente, as well as Don Lothario, also known from Pleasant View in The Sims 2. Check out the updated looks from all of The Sims in the Caliente household. So here's Nina. There's obviously a very big change here, and Dina. Then we have Don Lothario and Katrina Caliente. I can't recall if the Calientes are Spanish. I think they are. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but what I can say so far, okay, I've seen a lot of people on Twitter not really liking the revamp, the refresh, or whatever. Um, I'm not necessarily a fan of it either. I wasn't a fan of the goth, uh, the goth revamp. A lot of people came after me for having that opinion. That's fine. It wasn't anything in particular. It just more didn't suit my personal um, sim style, if you will. But I will say, I really do like the way Dina Caliente looks. I don't know what it is about her revamp, but I really, 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 really like it. So I can't wait to see what they look like in Create a Sim. In addition to the physical revamp, there are also personality updates and preferences added to all four Sims. Let's explore the new lore. Katrina Caliente likes pop and romance music. Her hobby and skills consist of piano, fitness, comedy, and she dislikes fishing, gardening, and cooking, but she likes the color orange and yellow. Her sim characteristics are that she likes nature enthusiasts and for her career and education she is currently an entertainer at Limelight. Dina Caliente. She likes pop music. Her hobby and skills consist of piano, fitness, and mixology. She dislikes fishing, gardening, and handiness. Likes the color green and black. And for sim characteristics she likes I idealist sims. For her she's in the culinary arts career and she works at Make a Dish. Nina Caliente likes classical music. Her hobby and skills consist of video gaming, mischief, and mixology. She dislikes fishing, gardening, and handiness, likes the color black and pink, and likes funny sims. And for our last caliente on the list, we have Don Lothario. He likes electronica and pop music, he likes fitness, video gaming, and mixology, dislikes programming and rocket science, but likes the colors blue and red. For sim characteristics, he likes pessimistic sims, and he is currently unemployed, which I feel like is very on brand for him personally. Now that I have the Calientes in Create a Sim, I can see exactly where the Sims team was going with this. They were trying to tap into the Sims 2 Caliente era, and I actually like it. Like, I like it so far. I do. There are some things that I'm like, mm, not really sure about, but for the most part, I definitely think this is an upgrade. First and foremost, this is the old Adina. She is basically trapped in 2014. She doesn't really give me, and she never did give me, like, Caliente vibes. I just, there's, there's just a lot here 
character that obviously doesn't resemble her uh, old character from The Sims 2. But now this is the new and improved Dina Caliente. So you could see that her skin tone is a little more, um, you know, it, it's more authentic to the Sims 2 version of her. Also, her facial features too, like her nose and her chin. I love that. Like, I think she's actually really freaking beautiful. I love her hair. I love the fact that it's not like macaroni yellow anymore. I'm going to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of her outfit. Like, I don't really like her outfit choices at all. Uh, this one actually is very nice. This is very Dina, like very vixen -y. I love it. I love that one. I do like her uh, athletic wear. Um, her sleepwear is fine. Don't hate it or love it. I definitely, definitely feel some type of way with her wearing Bella Goth's old dress. <laughs> then we have her swimwear. This is her um, her hot weather wear and then basically her uh, her winter wear. Not super sure how I feel about the sports jacket with these boots. Also up here in all of her like aspirations and her trait panel, they've also gone ahead and uh, made a couple changes. Previously, Dina was very ambitious and she was also super active and also a master mixologist, but now her traits are a little bit different and her aspiration is as well. So now she wants to be fabulously wealthy, she's material materialistic she's still ambitious but it looks like basically materialistic got swapped out for the athletic trait that she once had or swapped in rather so that's interesting let's move on to Nina so the old Nina I actually liked her I thought she was very unique looking I also appreciated the fact that at the time she was more um, she was one of the more fuller sims like she definitely wasn't as like you know just as petite as everybody else like she just you know she had a different body type and i appreciated that again i don't want anyone to think that i'm like body shaming like skinny thick whatever it don't matter like it really doesn't trust me but i'm just simply saying like there was just a lot of like a lot of the sims back then just looked very similar she just had a very unique facial like facial structure and body type that i appreciated that was it so anyways um she was a chief of mischief she was also romantic lazy and a bit of a hothead in fact, I think she was like one of my one of my first Sims wives. I think he married her. Was it Chris? I think it was Chris. I'm pretty sure Chris married Dina. I can't remember. Their, their relationship was super turbulent. But this is Dina now. I don't really know how I feel about her makeover. I'm not a huge fan of the red hair and the brown eyebrows. Like her hair is traditionally red. But I think maybe um, if these matched, it'd be a little bit better. But, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. I actually really like what they did with her like I really do I definitely think it is an improvement um so for her she's a villainous valentine still romantic I believe and still a hothead but now she's non-committal which is you know very um authentic to how I would envision a caliente to be I kind of see them not being promiscuous but yeah maybe a little bit <laughs> definitely not you know settling down or committing to anyone or anything anytime soon uh but here are her outfits I do like her outfits for sure one of her favorite colors is pink so you're gonna see that kind of throughout her catalog here which makes sense i really 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 liked the 2014 version of katrina caliente i don't know what it was like i liked her thin brows i liked her makeup she kind of had like this rush resting bish face i don't know what it was about her but i thought she was a spicy little tamale and you know although her her tatas are basically slapping the bottom of her chin i i just i like i like how she looks i really do um, so for her aspiration, she is a, well, she's looking for her soulmate and then she's hot headed, which obviously we know Nina gets that from her. She's family oriented. And of course, keeping up with the Caliente theme, she is romantic. Now this is her 2023 rendition. And although I am ab absolutely, absolutely in love with her chin, like, I don't know what it is, but her facial structure is gorgeous. I don't know how I feel about this overall like character overhaul like I'm not sold on it like I just I don't know what it is like I think she's still really cool looking um for sure like she looks more of like a, a person now versus like a cartoon character so the realism is there and I'm appreciating it but I don't really know oh yeah no I like this okay you know what actually no I lie I like it I feel like this overhaul is so much or wow okay <laughs> 
<laughs> Those tatas be tata in. But no, seriously, I really do feel like this makeover or whatever you want to call it is worlds better than the goth one. That one still really bothers me to this day. And I don't care what anyone says. It is just how I feel about it. I don't necessarily like it. But this one, it's not as bad as everybody was saying. And that's my opinion. You may love it. You may hate it. And it's okay. Like we can have a difference in opinion. So Katrina is still a um, soulmate or a sim looking for their soulmate. And the only thing that really changed here is that um, instead of being a hothead, Katrina is now a jealous Sam. That's interesting. And I like her outfits too. I think they did really good there. Okay, so let's move on to my boy Don Lothario. I actually liked the 2014 version of him. <laughs> I personally thought he was, you know, pretty, pretty hot. He is a little bit of a D-bag, but we love him for it, you know? So Don is a serial romantic, non-committal. Uh, he is a romantic at heart and then obviously active. Now this is the new Don Lothario. I mean, he is sporting the brand new beer that we got in the update so y'all were wondering what that looked like this is it here you know if it wasn't for his eye shape okay they just look a little droopy and it's fine okay but if it wasn't for his eye shape I genuinely think he'd be okay like let's play around with another little eye shape here and just kind of change things up a little bit and didn't he have brown eyes before I kind of want to go back to that oh wait no I think he had what color eyes were his eyes they were green I don't know I have customized in so things are gonna look a little bit different than maybe the sims team intended but honestly I think I like him like I do I do it just it, he looks just very he looks different for sure but the eye shape is probably the only thing that I think I would change just a little bit and then maybe that would kind of bring his character um together and then maybe like poke out his ears a little bit yeah i like that that fits more my sim style basically but yeah i actually kind of like him too it's not bad these sims look more realistic than they did before and they're out of their their cartoon you know 2014 era yeah no i like him i really do okay this is wild because usually these like overhauls they make me so nervous because i hate change like i am a creature of habit through and through We've had these sims for like, what, almost 10 years now. Why change them? But for some reason, I think the Caliente slap. I like them. But that's just my personal opinion. I'm super curious to know what you guys think. So let me know. I figured since Dina Caliente was an assistant dishwasher in the culinary arts career, it would make sense for her to be the one to create the two brand new recipes. Something I did find a little bit strange is that she had no cooking skill whatsoever. She was literally at a zero like it did not exist in her panel. I found that kind of funny. The first recipe I'm going to have Dina make is the challah bread. There's a beautiful description that tells you all about challah bread and what it is traditionally used for in Jewish culture. If you guys would like to pause the video and read it, you can go ahead and do that. Otherwise, I think we're just going to jump straight on in and start making this recipe. You do need to have at least a level two of the cooking skill in order to make it. And the serving size, it looks like it's just kind of a one size fits all. So Dina has her little bowl here, her big old freaking wooden spoon. She is kneading the dough, which is super super freaking cute i love that and we should be almost about done i don't know if anything extra is gonna happen she throws it in kind of just like that and there it is if you guys can see the challah bread is uh currently cooking so hopefully this shouldn't take too too long to bake and there it is we have two beautiful beautiful loaves of braided challah bread i want to get in like super close here because i'm sorry this is so freaking beautiful i think that's salt sprinkled on top if i'm not mistaking so we're gonna come back into the fridge and we are going to prepare the matzo soup a quick way to find these recipes is just by clicking that nameplate there this is going to filter out everything by alphabetical order which for me personally i find a lot more easier when i'm looking for a particular recipe to cook okay so here we are with the matzo ball soup it looks like your skill set needs to be a little bit higher than the challah bread you need to be at at least a level four of the cooking skill and it is $15 a serving. I don't know if my game is broken because I do have some cooking mods in where it isn't allowing me to, uh, to choose a serving size or if that's just how it is. Here you can kind of see what appears to be maybe like the dumplings. It looks like there's noodles. This, this whole texture just looks different to me, but honestly, I don't really ever pay attention too much when my sims are cooking, so I could be just talking out of my cooler right now. But of course, we, we got a season, we got a season of soup and 
there she is. Look at that texture, that detail. I mean, you can literally see the spices and sliced carrot. The Sims team really outdid themselves this time. I love the way that these recipes look. They almost have like a lifelike element to them. I mean, you can practically see the little pepper flakes on top of the dumplings, the sliced carrot, and then over here on the hollow bread, we have like the little greens of salt. I love this. I think they did such an amazing job. Before we wrap up this video, I do want to see what the individual servings look like. And I hate the fact that Sims will now sit just about anywhere to eat their food. Like if there's another <laughs> Sim sitting by, they'll come over and sit next to them. But here is the individual serving of the matzo ball soup. I love that. There's a huge old dumpling there. And I'm gonna have Dina go and grab herself a slice of the holla bread. So let me just have her zoom over there really quick and we'll see what that looks like. That holla bread must be delicious because Dina scarfed it down before I could even show it to you guys. So I'm gonna have her go and grab one more slice and we're gonna pause really quick but again with the freaking textures like you can actually see the texture of the bread that is crazy that is seriously nuts to me i just discovered there's one more item to share with you but we need to hop into build mode once in build mode you need to type in holla into the search bar and there you will find a decorative object called hollow loaves the hollow loaves are actually a hundred simoleons so super duper expensive just for a decor object but i love how they look i mean i think it's super cute that they're on this little like wood cutting board type of thing and then there's like a little blanket to keep them warm and then if we scroll over the different swatches the warming blanket on top of them changes so we have like little pomegranates we have a cute little floral design and this one is a little tree that kind of has like two different options there and then of course we have a bunch of solids too well i think that pretty much wraps it up for this sims 4 sdx drop overview overall i am very very pleasantly surprised with the calientes like i actually do like their makeover i was expecting so much worse just judging by like the comments on twitter and stuff but i actually don't mind them i think they're kind of cute and they look more like real people granted it could be my reshade really helping them out here but again they're not that bad anyways i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here i'm super curious to know what do you guys think so make sure to let me know and with that said don't forget to go ahead and comment rate, and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye guys